This program discusses the possibility of breatharianism or living without eating food and is not a full instruction. For your safety, please do not attempt to cease eating without proper expert guidance. Hello? Hello? Hello. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Most compassionate and beautiful Master, we are blessed beyond words to be graced by your loving presence as we start off the auspicious year of the rabbit with you. We thank you from our hearts for being with us today, especially knowing that this takes precious time away from your retreat, which is so crucial in saving the world at this time. Master, may this conference in turn bring likewise immense benefit to the world through the divine information we hope you will graciously share with us as we ask you some questions about breatharianism. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, I am privileged to answer you because if you have questions, I have to answer, huh? <laughs> great, great, great. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Master. I'm still in the retreat area. Oh, I so see. That's why it's uh, not very convenient about internet and all that. This is a great honor for us, Master, and uh, we appreciate very much your efforts. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. Master, the first question is, why are we made in the image of God? The Bible mentioned that, huh? That's right. Do you know why? <laughs> <laughs> Any of you know? We'd like to hear it from you. No, but do you know? Well, my guess is that because we are, uh, we are from God, but uh, I'd like to hear more about it, and I'd like to know if that's correct. <laughs> we are from God, but everything is from God. The trees from God, the animals from God. Why we are made in the image of God and not others. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't know, huh? No, no, Master. Okay. Please tell us. I pretend to be a wise person and tell you something. <laughs> the reason uh, why we, it is said that we make in the image of God because we have 100% God quality. GQ. Wow. wow. Yes. <laughs> Up to now we have many Q, no? IQ, LQ, <laughs> HQ. <laughs> And uh, what else? Uh, Noble quality. Uh, yeah, NQ, yes. And now we have one more, and it's GQ. Wow. <laughs> yes. We humans have a lot of Qs. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like. We are cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So why is it that uh, we have 100% God quality? Oh, that is because God imparted to us. <laughs> uh, there are different degrees of uh, GQ uh, within the creation. For example, human has 100 percent, and uh, animals have how much percent? Uh, insects have how much percent, for example? Uh, depends on the necessity of the use. It's like the electricity is the same, huh? Yes. Yes, Master. Yes. But uh, sometimes the bulbs are different, eh? Like, okay, there's a light bulb with a hundred uh, watt, huh? Very bright, okay? Yes, And master. there is a light bulb with 50 watt and 25 watt, 5 watt, etc., etc. You get it? Yes, yes master. master. So, the inner source is the same, the electricity is the same, like the God quality is the same, just the degree is different. Hmm? I see. 
We humans have 100% of God's light. That's why we can uh, practice uh, the Kuan Yin method and then we can see the light and hear the sound of God. Ah. Yep. That's right. yep. <laughs> Animal has not this uh, privilege. Master, how much God quality do animals have? Oh, it depends. Depends on uh, which animals. Uh, let me look into my diary. Thank you. See if I can find something for you. Which animals you want to know first, for example? How about dogs? Dog? Ah. Uh, dog is uh, one of the highest <laughs> GQ in the creation. Okay. Human has been endowed with 100% GQ, hey? Yeah. Yes, Master. And the highest in the animal kingdom is 65%. We have 100%. The highest in the animal kingdom is 65%, and dogs have them. Wow. Wow. Insects, for example, they have uh, the highest percent would be 10 percent, and uh, the lowest of insects would be two percent. Wow. Oh. Mm. Well, I even have how much is what, what, what. Uh, anything else you want to know about the animals? Uh, Do you have any more um, um, any more examples about? Specific animals? Are the animals? Oh, okay. Okay, well. Is that surprising to you to know that dog is the uh, highest in the kingdom? Yes, Master. Well, not because uh, God has discriminated. It just uh, probably dogs uh, <laughs> need to be closer to humans, so dog needs more GQ in order to serve human, no? To help human, no? Oh, I see. Mm. Yeah. I wonder where do I have the animals? Uh, okay, the uh, the average is like that. For example, horse is sixty-one percent of of GQ. Wow. Oh. And I have here. I don't have all of them, but I check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. If I have it all or not. If I have these percentages written down or not. I have like a top, top twelve. You want to to know which one are the top twelve? Oh sure, yes, master. We love to hear it. Okay. I'm also surprised, you know. <laughs> During the meditation, when I I. I check out some information which I have forgotten. I also surprise sometimes, you know. Okay, for example, the highest in the animal kingdoms are dogs, okay? Yeah. Yes, Master. And uh, the second are whales. Wow. Ah. Yes, surprise, yeah? <laughs> you thought the size, the bigger size, the bigger GQ huh? is not necessary. <laughs> yes, it depends on, on the need, you know? Yes. Yes, yes mm -hmm. Master. For example, in the living room, you need a bright light, so maybe you, you put a hundred, a hundred uh, watt bulbs in the living room, eh? Yes. Ah. But uh, in, the, in the corridor, maybe just for walking, you put maybe fifty watt, huh? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. And uh, in the library, you even have more, yeah, okay? More, more, maybe two of the hundred watt bulbs, yeah. And but at night time, you know, sometimes you have that like uh, sleeping light. You have right in the bedroom, yeah. That's yes. right. Yes, yes master. Or, or in the just the walkway, then you put just maybe five five watt, yeah. Very yep. dim light. Yeah, the electricity is the same. It's just the usage is different, because I guess because dogs are nearer to human and protective of human. Therefore, he needs to be. More godlike, yeah. More protective, loving, and loyal. You see how dogs are, huh? Yes, yes. master. Yes, master. Very long. Actually, there's no surprise, huh? <laughs> All right. So, dogs. Number one, whales. Second, third, dolphin. Wow. Oh. Number four, birds like parrots. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Not all birds are the same, eh? Yes. Yes, of course, I can go into details forever, like how many uh, big parrots, how, <laughs> how much are small <laughs> parrots, but we don't have to do that, okay? Yes, yes Master. 
Number five. You know which one? Yes. Elephant. No. Pigeons. Wow. Pigeon. Pigeon. Wow, interesting. Bokau, bokau. Okay. Number six. Guess again. Pig. No. <laughs> Rabbit. Yeah. Oh. Number seven. Cow. Oh. Moo. Yeah. <laughs> Number eight. Deer. Deer. Yeah. Number nine. Have a guess. Pigs. Pigs. No. Tortoise. Oh. Oh. Surprising. Yeah. Surprising. Yes, yes. Yes. Number ten. Have a guess again. Horses. No, no. Penguin. Oh, oh wow. interesting. Eleven. No? no. <laughs> yeah, not what you think. Not what you think. I'm surprised also. Number eleven is peacock. Oh. Peacock. Number twelve. Are the seals? The seal. Oh, Mm. There are some uh, equal to to these, yeah. But uh, dogs are number one, huh? These are just groups wise, you know. Yes. Yes, master. Yeah. So, uh, pig would be number thirteen, huh? Ah, okay. I only have number uh, like top twelve, you know. <laughs> Thank you, master. So top ten. Top ten uh, stuck with penguin, huh? <laughs> oh. All right. Wow, my God! <laughs> Do you know the penguin? They stand guard in their egg for two two months or something, standing in the freezing and then blitzing cold and waiting for the female to come back. Yes. Yes, master. Yeah, not moving, huh? Because they they don't even uh, eat. No. You know, right? Yes, yes master. master. Wow, no wonder. Okay, right. The thing is, uh, between the, the first and the second or the third, there are not very big gap of, uh, of a GQ difference, okay? Yes, Master. All right. Uh, for example, the dog is uh, 65% uh, GQ, but the horse is 61. You see what I mean? Yes, Master. So the dogs have a lot of uh, GQs. But for example, if a dolphin is also paired with other animals, it's not like dolphin alone is on the top twelve. You you understand what I mean? Yes, yes, yes master. master. Yes. Well, like the rabbit, maybe paired with the horse, something like that. You got it? Yeah. Yes, master. And other animals in the same same category. Yeah. Okay. Uh, master, if, is the higher the guide quality? Is it maybe because there are more assisting humans uh, on Earth? Yeah, probably like that. I see, I see. Yeah, okay. Can animals increase their God quality? Oh, if they did something uh, very uh, noble, then maybe, yes. I see. It's possible, it's possible also, yes. Like if they rescue their friend, maybe? Yeah, rescue human or friend or something, then they will have some more God quality. It's uh, interesting to observe that dogs who are with me longer time has more GQ than the one uh, later uh, adopted. And the dogs who are adopted in a younger year, younger year of their age, uh, recover their GQ quicker, yes. For example, uh, like Happy Hermit and Benny now, God has bestowed a 65 percent of uh, GQ, while Oreo had like 59.7 percent of GQ. You see, Oreo was uh, uh, more recently adopted, and he was older when he was adopted, so he hasn't had time to recover as quick. You see, and Hardy and Toto were a little younger, even though recently adopted, but they have recovered to 60 percent. 
And also, it's interesting to see, to observe them, for example, happy many and hermit. They have more refined character, you know, more in tune with human, more calm, more quiet, and more loving, and more kind, less fighty, for example. And the other one, like Boyo, for example, or Harley, or Solo, they are less uh, refined. Yeah? For example, sometimes pee in the house, uh, loud noise, loud barking, and demanding, more demanding, a little bit more jealous, etc., more fighty. Yeah. Even just uh, slightly less GQ, Harley is more fighty than Solo or Boyo, for example. Yeah. <laughs> So when uh, Benny and, and Happy, for example, or Hamid first came to me, they have less GQ than they do now because they have been fed meat, of course, huh? and other things, you know, that is not suitable for their GQ development or GQ sustainability. But uh, because I adopted them when they were younger, and they have been with me longer time now, more than 10 years, so their GQ has recovered to the maximum again. 65%. And other dogs uh, recover slowly. Yeah. And also interesting, like Lucky, uh, he was the oldest one before, you know, the first five dogs. He was the oldest one. And he recovered less quick than Benny or Hamid, for example, who were younger. Yeah. Happy also was less GQ when she first came. So she even chased a live uh, insect, uh, I told you before. Yeah. And uh, Lucky was also very uh, much more fighty than uh, Benny and Hermit. And uh, even to the later day, he recovered GQ less than Hermit and Benny and Happy, for example. Okay? And so his personality was more fighty, yes. And less obedient and more naughty. <laughs> okay. So even after a while, the dogs will regain more GQ if we feed them vegan diet. Yes. Not all uh, in human forms have 100% GQ, however, because of mixed quality that uh, the humans bring into their being. Like uh, if uh, people eat animal meat, then they bring animal level into their consciousness then it will cover part of uh, their GQ. That makes them lose control over their noble behavior. First, uh, easily led astray to do things that they would normally detest and not willing to do. But because of the mixed quality, Things are not always in their control. Their behavior, their consciousness change because of too much mixed with animals' consciousness. Or the taking in of uh, harmful substances, for example, uh, illegal drugs, alcohol, cigarettes, etc., uh, which alter, alter uh, mean changing our brain pattern so uh, that uh, we become vulnerable and out of control of ourselves because we cannot uh, recognize the true godlike quality and the high consciousness within ourselves. Thus, it's very easy to be influenced by outside circumstances or by outer negative influence until we are unblocked again by some method of meditation or like initiation into the light and sound which is our own God consciousness to begin with anyway. So if we contact with this God quality again which manifests as light and sound then we will recover our GQ gradually until the GQ completely revealed again. Animals also have the same problem. 
in this respect. Like, uh, for example, not all dogs have 65% uh, GQ because they are fed with different other kind of animals, meat, that build up a kind of uh, wall, so to speak, which uh, invade and cover part of their GQ consciousness. That's why we see some humans do not behave like humans, and some dogs don't behave like dogs. And dogs that have less and less GQ consciousness because of the meat diet don't behave like dogs, and they have lower consciousness, and they could be trained to hunt, to fight each other, or to kill at command. Okay, understand now? Yeah. Yes, Master. Good. Humans, of course, have all the more chance to regain more GQ even by being vegan, as we have more of the chance than animals to decide to choose what we eat. But of course, the ultimate recovery would be reconnected with the God self by the light and sound through initiation by initiation, with a reconnection with the light and sound, which is God quality, manifested through initiation. Okay. Through initiation by competent guidance. Yes. Some of the benefits of a vegetarian diet lowers blood pressure, lowers cholesterol levels, reduces type 2 diabetes, prevents stroke conditions, reverses atherosclerosis, reduces heart disease risk 50%, reduces heart surgery risk 80%, prevents many forms of cancer, stronger immune system, increases life expectancy up to 15 years, higher IQ, saves 70% of a total cost of 40 trillion US dollars for reducing global warming, uses 4.5 times less land to grow food, conserves up to 70% clean water, saves 80% of the cleared Amazonian rainforest from animal grazing. A solution for world hunger. Free up 3.4 billion hectares of land. Free up 760 million tons of grain every year, or half the world's grain supply. Consumes one-third fossil fuels of those used for meat production. Reduces pollution from untreated animal waste. Maintains cleaner air. Saves 4.5 tons of emissions per U.S. household per year. Stop 80% of global warming. Plus more. Save your life. Be veg. Go green. Master, why is it that humans have 100% GQ, but there are still wars and other problems? That is because the majority of humans still live on spiritual poverty. Namely, 80% of our population have been degraded or have degraded ourselves into the level of around 50% GQ only. Because every time we take an action that harms others, be it humans or animals, or even uh, needless, destroying the environment, and then we go to lower consciousness, toward the spiritual poverty level, and uh, we are more separated from the lifeline, which is our uh, capital GQ. Okay? Yes. What is the highest GQ any person can have on this earth, Master? Let me check with my spiritual note. Okay, got it. Uh, the highest GQ that human on this planet can obtain is 87% GQ. Oh. Yeah. Okay? How about the lowest, Master? The lowest would be 40% GQ. Oh. Only 2% of the humanity has the highest uh, of 87% GQ. 
I mean, the human who were born in here, I mean, who came here mm-hmm. also. And about 5% of human, for example, have about 65% GQ. And the rest are, you know, miscellaneous. Ah, uh, no wonder we love animals more easily, yeah? <laughs> we love dogs, birds, <laughs> easily, more easy than love other <laughs> humans, you know, love their neighbors. Uh, you see, perfect human truly live on the eighth level upward. Wow. wow. Even on the fifth level, the highest GQ percentage over there that man can obtain is 96%. Got it? Wow. wow. Originally, we have all 100%, but because as we descend into the lower scale of uh, creation, our GQ decreased like that. Okay. And mixed with matter. Hmm? Wow. wow. So will humankind, as we practice the Kuan Yin method, be able to climb up a little bit more and more on GQ? Sure, sure. That's the only thing we can do. I mean, apart from being vegan and all that. Yes, of course, being vegan is... Uh, a little slower, and if we vegan and practice quanning method, or breatharian and practice quanning method, then it's faster. Every time we do something good to others or protect other lives, our GQ will be revealed more because one block of the wall has been broken. You see, that's why human here could not even love each other mm, because of the degraded state of GQ. We hope Master will uplift mankind with more GQ so we can truly have peace on this planet in this lifetime. Well, yes, sure. (laughs) If the human who practice quantum method, definitely sooner or later they will go to the fifth level where they can attain the highest GQ possible. As far as the soul, from the fifth level downward, concerned, 96% is the highest level of GQ we can get when we get to the fifth level, okay? Yes, Master. 96%, that's a lot already, that's almost 100%. Eh? The people who are 100% GQ and recover it quick, they came from another dimension wow. above the fifth level. They brought it with them, okay? Yes. Right. And they're allowed to retain that way. Or even if they lost them, they are allowed to recover to 100% so that they can help humankind. All right? No wonder Master has 100%. Uh, I'm not sure if this is very good for human to hear all this or not. But uh, I let you guys know anyway, since you have this question in your heart. Thank you, Master. In case I die and the information is not passed on and nobody can read my <laughs> spiritual scrap or notes, or maybe they will be lost, for example, okay? Yes. Since you guys already asked all these kind of questions, might as well know a little bit more deeply really into the nature of GQ. All right? Okay? Thank you, Master, but you won't die. God doesn't allow Masters to die during this time. Oh, no, God doesn't allow Master to be killed in this period of time, but doesn't mean <laughs> Master won't die. I mean, maybe naturally, maybe illness, maybe time to go, you know what I mean? Yeah. We pray to God. Okay, <laughs> never mind, never mind. Whatever happens, happens, yeah? Yes, yes. I just hope I finish my job before I go, that's all. So I don't have to come back. <laughs> we are here with you, Master. Okay. We are going to make it happen. All right. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Ah, you're welcome. Master, uh, since it's already possible to reach the fifth level with the Kuan Yin method that you graced us with, is it really necessary to be breatharian? Could an utmost sincerity in our practice be enough? Yes, enough, enough, of course. Okay. Of course. Good to hear.
it's not necessary that you became breatharian, but you could be. It's, it's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, I understand. It's good for you to be free from all this burden and, you know, dependency of the material world, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, Master. The less dependent, the better, huh? Yes, Master, definitely. But uh, with the Guanyin method, you are actually liberated and uh, you can reach fifth level. Uh, Thank you, Master. Sooner or later. Yes. Actually, the food we eat are very little anyway, you know. Yes. yes if just simple vegetarian, then it's, it's not uh, very much burden on the society and on the world, yeah? Yes, yes Master. Okay. Hi, Master. Hi. Um, Master, being a breatharian brings one closer to God. Would Master please explain how? Ah, it is the intention of that person is not the breatharian alone, okay? Okay. For example, if somebody who really because of God, because want to know God, close to God, and forsake everything, even his uh, family, you know, his maybe wife and some family, and even forsake also the food, that he so much love, normally. Then, of course, that touch heaven. Mm. And then, of course, God will grant him a fifth level, low level. Huh? But he has to continue that intention, huh? Yes, Master. This is a, a, the condition with a breatharian. If, if they forsake their intention and lack of the, the sincerity or lack the continuing effort, then uh, his level get lower again. Hmm? But it won't be lower than third level, at least. Wow. Wow. It's the intention that is important, it's not the action only, yeah? Yes, Master. Well, suppose you are God and somebody forsake everything for you, even food and drink, wouldn't you let him come up? <laughs> yes, Master. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, right. Thank you, Master. You've answered this question already um, today. Master, can a breatharian reach the fifth level? Mm, yeah, I say yes, can. Hmm? Um, would you please explain why, Master? Why? I just told you already, because <laughs> if his intention is so intense on God, longing for God, you know, that he could forsake everything, uh, including family as well. So, then he would reach the fifth level, but low fifth only, no? Okay. Thanks, Master. Yeah, not guaranteed he go to the high fifth, yes. The Kuan practitioners is guaranteed to go to high fifth, even if he not breatharian. Wow. If he practice well according to what he has been taught, yeah. Thanks, Master. Master, Kuan Yin practitioners can have five to six of their generations liberated. How about breatharians? Can five to six of their generations also be liberated? Thank you, Master. No. Oh. Sorry about that. Because a breatharian rely on himself alone and the third level help. It's different power, okay? I see. Yes, Master. Uh, Kuan Yin practitioner, rely on yourself and also on Master power and the fifth level of blessing as well. Wow. Mm. So if you fail, uh, you've been picked up again and again. <laughs> Thank you, Master. But of course you have to adhere to the precept, no? Not yes, to Master. harm others, not to take drug, alcohol, and not to do uh, those uh, ignoble things. All right? Yes, Master. Right, okay. Okay, thank you, Master. Welcome. You see, uh, the Kuan Yin practitioners can even uh, help uh, his friends, <laughs> you know, whoever he loves, not just the five, six, nine generation. Wow. Yeah, whoever he loves to go up with him. Wow. Yep. Such thank you, Master, so much. <laughs> so this is a incredible power, okay? Incredible power. Yes, Master. 
because the master power, the master has already mastered life and death and mastered the law of the universe, so he can help the disciples of the Kuan Yin method to do many incredible things, yeah, and help the redeem the souls that he loves, that the disciple loves, yes. Yes, Master, we're so lucky to have you, Master. Even with his dogs, his cats. <laughs> <laughs> Even if the cat is not on the top twelve, <laughs> he can take him up to higher wow. level. Mm. Thank you. Hello, Master. Yeah, hello. Hi. Hi. Master, can a Breatharian Master erase all sins of the disciples? Oh, no, Choco, no. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, Choco. If you are a breatharian master, you can only teach others to liberate himself. Okay? Each one, individual. Yeah? Yes, Master. And maybe one or two person here and there, but it's not a, a grand uh, performance. <laughs> yes, Master. Yes. The thing is, um, in Buddhism, there's a term for these breatharian people or whoever practice alone and attain uh, enlightenment, attain Buddhahood. They call them Dok Yak Phak Tu Chế Phổ, mean uh, self-enlightened, enlightened by himself, yeah? Oh, yes, Master. Yes. And the one who practice Kuan Yin Method is in a big network of salvation. Wow, wow. Yes, right. Just like you have a telephone, for example, just a mobile phone or a landline phone, you can talk to one or two person only. But if you are using internet or broadband, you can even uh, send it to, to many places uh, spontaneously. Understand this? Wow, yes, Master. Yeah. And you can connect with many, many people hmm? through internet. Wow, okay, Master. Or like television, huh? I like our television, the whole world can watch, huh? Eh? Yes. Wow. All right, that's that. The breatharian teacher can only teach people to help themselves, okay? Yes, but the Kuan Yin practitioner must share their merit to help others. Yeah, that's the difference. Yes, Master. Yes, master. yes. Because we eat and drink and we share things of the world, so it's automatically will be divided a little bit. Okay? Yes, Master. A breatharian, one in practitioner, can still save up to nine generations, eh? Wow. The breatharian alone can only help themselves. Okay? Yes, right. yes, that is what actually. Mm, also called a small vehicle, huh? <laughs> can help yourself only. Okay. Master, um, why doesn't past masters such as Buddha, Jesus, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Guru Nanak, Moses, Baha'u'llah, Confucius, Lao Tzu, etc., choose to be breatharian? Yeah, I guess uh, it's the same reason, huh? Mm. <laughs> you see, it's been arranged like that. Uh, their life is simple anyway, even if they eat something, it's not that much. Just a vegetarian or vegan stuff, and it doesn't burden anyone, and it's not harming too much on the world anyway. And whatever bad karma, that this is nothing, you know, like two percent of the karmic burden only. And besides, um, if someone is uh, destined to be a master, then he has to help many people. Do you understand that? Yes, yes Master. Let me see. Just one moment if I have not forgot anything. Okay, the thing is, uh, their food is very different, okay? Yes. yes. And if, if they eat something of the world, they can liberate the broader range of people, more people. Yes? Wow. Because food, Food is uh, the biggest network of connection between humankind. Yes, for example, even vegetarian, it uh, involved uh, farmers and uh, water irrigation person, 
mm, the transportation, the labor who harvest, yes, and the person who clean it and pack it, <laughs> the person who purchases, <laughs> who uh, wholesale purchases and then resell again, and cleaning the fruit and etc., etc., uh -huh. and uh, pruning the trees and therefore, the uh, the food chain is a chain that connects humankind. So if the master partake in this chain, he can has more affinity. He can sow more seed of affinity between himself and the humankind. Therefore, the the true master, the Teach Kuan Yin method, cannot be a breatharian if he want to help the mass of people. Yes, master. Well, you can be a breatharian, okay? It doesn't mean I. It doesn't mean I don't encourage it. I don't know. I still like my food. <laughs> what was it? I I said I don't know. I still like my food. Okay. Buddha eat even bake as he is not working to give people a chance to earn good merit. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, food connect people, make affinity, otherwise he's a prince. Oh, I told you already. His father is the king of nation already. Uh, even though Buddha uh, was reluctant to eat at all, but he did so that uh, he can have connection with the world. He say, it is very reluctant that we even eat vegetarian food. Yeah? And uh, remember Jesus also? When uh, he was asking someone to give him a water from uh, the well, and after drinking it, he promised the person who gave him water that he will give her the water of life. He said, you give me the water, this water from the well to drink, but I will give you the water of life. You see? So food, drinks are a convenient tool for masters to intervene in the give and take drama of this world. It connects almost all members of our society, from farmers, harvesters, etc., down to machine operators, refinery, workers, and even builders for storage, for road, for transport, you see, uh, of all kinds. Yeah? storage of all kinds, and even weavers, container producers, etc., etc., all kind of related workers and networks for this nutritional aspect for human consumption. So as we consume even vegan food, we have to also practice diligently in order to have enough merit to repay the kindness of all the workers involved, as well as to clean the karma of uh, the things that we use in this world, and to bless whichever trees or plants that give us food, or their groups, for example, so that they also can elevate in the um, spiritual evolution. Uh, remember when uh, his disciple uh, Mukinling Mogalana, remember when the Buddha disciple uh, Mu Qianlin, he his mother is punished in hell because she make the meat to feed the Sangha and uh, lie to them, say it's vegetarian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So his mother has been punished, go to hell. Yeah, and whenever she eat the food. Even uh, Mu Qianlin went down to hell and fit his mother by his uh, magical power because he has a lot of magical power, this man, and he always use it. But he died because of his magical power at the end. Oh. Anyway, he died because even if you have magical power, you cannot always counter other uh, dark uh, magicians. Okay? So many magicians, because they hate him, he defeated them many times, so they hated him, so they congregate together, they gather together, big group, and then make him die. Oh. They use also their power together to kill him at the end.
That's why Buddha never encouraged anyone to use magical power. Okay, that's just by the way. Now, the monk, this disciple of Buddha, the number one magician, disciple of the Buddha, he went to hell. He used his magical power to go to hell to visit his mother and want to take her out, but he cannot. He's not powerful enough, even with his magical power. But he can visit her. And then he manifests some food to give it to her to eat because she's very hungry down there. She is not allowed to be fed anything. And then he feeds her food. And whenever the food comes to her mouth, it becomes burning coal, burning hot fire coal, so she cannot swallow. Remember this story? Yes, yes Master. Okay. I'm only telling you this so that you know how connected the food to humankind, okay, and karma and all that, because our world has already turned into a, a eating world, so the Master has to do the same in order to connect with people, yeah? Yes, yes Master. Now, when he came back and cried to the Buddha, after saw his mother in hell and cannot feed her, he cried to the Buddha for help for blessing, to save his mother. The Buddha said, I am also powerless, because your mother, bad karma, is too heavy, too heavy. So if you want to save your mother, you have to make food offering to the whole Sangha here, to the whole monks hood here. And then they will pray for your mother, then their united power will help your mother to go to heaven. You see what I mean? Food again, food, yes. The Buddha advised him to bring five kinds of food and five kinds of fruit. It's to symbolize the fifth level, no? Oh, yes, Master. So after Mu Qianlin uh, bought food and fruit offering to the whole congregation of, of monks there, then his mother is liberated immediately. Wow. wow! Now, you see the power of food here? Yes. yes, Master, definitely. Yes, because when they partake of this food, then they partake of uh, the connection with the humankind in this world. You see what I mean? Yes, Master. Including the mother of Mu Qian Lin. That's why she's liberated. So it took a lot of months, everybody take a little bit of bad karma, so she's liberated. Wow. wow. It's not because the Buddha cannot do it, but the Buddha doesn't want to sell it too cheap like that. You see what I mean? Yes, yes Master. Oh, yeah. And uh, he wants Mu Qian Lin to be more humble, eh? to respect all the monks around there in his assembly. Because I guess also Mu Qian Lin, he has such a magical power. Wow, he's very, very powerful magician. He can go to hell, can visit heavens at will. Anywhere he wants to go, he can manifest anything. So I guess he has a little bit of arrogance as well, hey? Mm. Yes. And also, to let him know that monks around him are also his helper, his friends, and they are also very powerful, even if they don't have magical power like him, they are more powerful than him. See what I mean? Yes, Master. Because the Buddha always forbid to use magical power, but Mu Jianlin sometimes did not listen. So he harmed himself and at the end died with it. So that's it. So I want you to know the reason you ask me why Buddha and other masters, as you listed above, do not choose to be breatharian. I guess this is the reason also. Huh? They also know that food connects humankind in a network of karma as in affinity, hey? Okay? Yes, Master. And uh, many times the Buddha have explained to his disciples that whoever offer food and clothes to the monks, then we have such and such and such merit. Remember? Yes, yes Master. A lot, a lot of merit in different ways. And he also told the story of uh, past lives of uh, some people who has now become uh, strong in spiritual practice or who has become rich or has some uh, special significance 
um, sign when they were born in this life or last life because they have offered the Buddhas at those times or the Sangha, I mean the monks at those times, some food or some clothes or some money for to buy food and things like that. Remember that? Yes. Okay, so that's that. Now you clear, huh? Yes, Master. You clear why all the Master did not choose um, Breatharian. Yes? Understand, Master. Breatharian is good for you when you don't have to be a Master. Okay? Yes, Master. Yes. And when you don't want to connect more with the world, and when you want to, to attain faster the higher spiritual level, then you dispense as much as you want with food or clothes or, you know, possession. Yeah? Okay? Yes, Master. Okay. Thank you, Master. Uh, master, I, I have one little question. Um, yeah. Why would a Master then choose to do breatharianism? Would it be to, like, enhance their meditation, perhaps? What? How? Sorry. In what case would a Master choose to be breatharian? Mm, if the world changed. <laughs> okay. If everyone become breatharian, <laughs> then uh, the Master will be also. Okay. Then there's no need to, to save anyone, there will be no need to have a big connection, you know, broad connection with everyone. All right, right. Okay, next question. How come Master doesn't become a breatharian? Oh, I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> I have been breatharian in some other lives, and in this lifetime I have been breatharian uh, now and then, uh, before I took over this job. Wow. One time I, I just quit like that, cold turkey, <laughs> for a while. Not eat, not drink, nothing, not going through 21 day process, nothing. Wow. <laughs> I just say I quit, that's it. <laughs> wow, yeah. Master. But then the pressure is uh, great and I, I took food again. Yeah, everybody looking, looking, you know, and <laughs> talking, talking. <laughs> and I wasn't in a position to... Uh, I should have, but never mind this. Uh, and even now I want to be breatharian, I would love to, but I can't, okay? For some reason, I have told you. Okay. Yeah. Eating sometimes is very tiring business anyway, and sometimes uh, <laughs> I really want to quit again. <laughs> but but uh, it's not a very big sacrifice. It's okay also. It's okay. Yes. Like this, uh, I can help many more people, yeah? Yes, Master. Right. Because if I became breatharian, then uh, the uh, connection stop. Yes, Master. Understood. Yes. Is this forever or will it change in the future? It would change if the world changed, yes. If no need anymore, the connection, then... Uh, you know, I would stop also. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Choco. Hi, Master. How are you? Good. Thank you. Thank you, Master. Tell me. Master, is it better for Kuan Yin practitioners to become breatharians? Yes, it is. It's good for you. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Uh, because if you don't partake in this chain of food and production, so you, you have uh, less bad karma and you go quicker. Hmm? Uh, because uh, you are already initiated in the network of the big salvation and your five to nine generations is uh, guaranteed to be liberated if you continue practicing, and then, so if you are became breatharian, it's no harm. It's good for you, you're free, you feel lighter, better. When I was a breatharian, I feel very light. I feel like I'm walking on the cloud all the time. Wow. Yeah, and as soon as I eat the food, I feel like I fell from the fifth floor to the ground. Wow. It feels that way, yeah. I see, Master. Thank you, Master. Master, my mm. next question is, 
Um, how is it different between a person who reached the food-free state by love for God and the person who attained the same state through the 21-day breatharian transitional process, but not for a spiritual purpose? Thank you, Master. Okay, then he or she reached a lower level oh. of consciousness, okay? Only the love for God will bring you up. I see, Master. Yeah, because as I told you already, the the prana force is from the creative force, yeah, and the creative force is from the third level. Above, there is no more creation, creative force. I see. Just divine bliss, yeah, okay? Okay. Yes, Master. That's why within the three worlds, sometimes the whole creation also collapses and then renew again and again. Oh. Does it happen often? You mentioned that the sometimes the three worlds uh -huh. can collapse. Uh, often. It happens often? Often enough, but it's eons, you know. <laughs> uh. it's, like, it's like a few moments in the creation uh, schedule, but for us it's like eons, so don't worry about it. It takes long time. <laughs> Not that often, like I speak to you. <laughs> <laughs> we love it when you call us. Thank you, Master. Mm. Hi, Master. Hi. Master, is it due to the food shortage that our world is facing right now that Master asked Supreme Master TV to air about Breatharianism? to help people cope with the food shortage? Thank you, Master. No, 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 no. No, not really. Mm. Oh, I, see. I just want people to know that these things exist and that man really doesn't live from bread alone. And also that you can live without food, you know, if need be. In case of people think that without food they would die. You see what I mean? Yeah? Yes, Master. And also, uh, also for people to know the choice, that if they want to, they can also become free of this uh, eating burden. Huh? Yes, Master. Yeah. Uh, Master, right now the whole world needs to become vegan in order to save it physically. However, if more people become vegetarians, Will we be able to save the planet without everyone becoming veg? Thank you, Master. No, not enough. Not enough. Yes. Oh, I see. People have to change also, so they can uh, uh, um, create a more benevolent energy for the planet, okay? Yes, Master. Only benevolent energy can save our planet. Not just rely on somebody else, but everyone has to do it. Okay? Right. Mm. Yeah, thank you very much, Master. You're welcome. Hi, Master. Um, yeah? Another question that is often asked when speaking about breatharianism. Uh, most of humankind daily work is related to food, cultivating food or selling food. Um, Master, if the world were to become breatharian, what would all those people do? <laughs> the problem in this world, we have to work a lot because we need food, you see? Yes, Master. So if we don't need food anymore, then we don't have to work so much anymore. If they all become breatharian, they can relax, more time for hobby, more time for meditation, for praying, and thinking of God, or doing something else that they like in their life. Okay? Understand, Master. Yes, Master. Yeah. Like do other things and enjoy, you know? Not much to do if we don't need food. Okay? I see, Master. Simpler lifestyle, yeah. Master, my second question is, um, Master, if we want to become a breatharian, should we pray to you for blessing in order to be successful? Oh, no, 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 it won't work. It's your job. <laughs> it's not my job. I never promise you to bless you to be breatharian. I only promise you liberation in one lifetime. Okay. 
Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Whatever else you do is your problem. <laughs> And is there a link between Breatharianism and our spiritual level? For example, is it easier to be a Breatharian if you are from a certain level? Yeah, if the higher, the less uh, burden and the less obstacles. Eh? Mm. But uh, uh, normally, this is a kind of a habit breaking, yes? It's a mechanical function of the body. So uh, it can change. You see what I mean? Understand, Master. Yeah, it can change by also by breaking the habit. Everything you can do in uh, three weeks to break the habit, and with the proper guidance and with a supporting group, you be easy to do it. It's not hard to be breatharian. Okay, thank you, Master. You're welcome. Hi, Master. Are there specialized angels to help those who want to be a breatharian? Yeah, yeah, they are, yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> How many angels are needed to help one to be a breatharian? About three, four is enough. And how do the angels help those people to be breatharian? Oh, I guess uh, they... <laughs> Uh, they uh, support, you know, uh, spiritually, and they also um, give them some special uh, equipment to feed themselves with the uh, cosmic power, oh. mm, creative power. Oh. Are there any preconditions or moral standard to be a breatharian? No, no need. But you must really love God enough to forsake everything, okay? Yes, Master. Otherwise, you can uh, try to do it in 21 days. It's also uh, with the support of uh, a teacher and uh, friends, and you also can do it. Uh, some people do it because they're curious. Some people do it because they, th they think they have strong will, uh, but uh, sometimes they fail. Huh? Okay. Yes, Master. It's only when you have love for God strongly, then you'll be able to succeed and sustain it long. Wow. Master, why some people feel a calling to be a breatharian? Well, why not? <laughs> <laughs> One of the breatharians featured on Supreme Master TV said that hunger pangs are our body trying to detox instead of actually telling us that we are hungry for food. By interpreting as being hungry and therefore feeding ourselves, we are not letting the body a chance to detox. Is that correct, Master? Yes, it is correct in some way, uh, but you also need to... You cannot just rely on that, okay? You have to have special guidance in order to do it correctly. Otherwise, you might harm yourself bodily. Or mentally, huh? Yes, Master. Okay. Thank you, Master. Welcome. Hello, Master. Hello. How are you? Oh, I'm very mm. fine. Thank you very much, Master. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, my first yeah. question. Many Breatharians, like the Qigong Master Liao Feng Xiong, Eli Tom Ben Israel, and Isabel Ursuline, demonstrated... Tai Chi or a similar form of practice to viewers. Yes. How does this help with the transition to the food-free process? Is it very essential to do that kind of exercise? Ah, uh, yes, it is. Yes. Uh, breatharian is not not just only breathing. You have to do exercise to keep your muscle tone, okay, and the body functioning well. So it is not just. Uh, yeah, like everything else, you have to work, huh? Constantly, huh? Mm. I heard that if a few days you don't work, maybe your muscle become weak and, you know, you weigh less and you lost weight and things like that. Yes. So it's a keeping up process, right? And Canadian Pranarian Ren Claire recommended the drinking of water if someone wants to maintain their body form through the food-free transition process. 
How crucial is it to have water when we are in the food-free state? Do we need to drink water at all in order to become food-free? Well, everyone is different, you know. Mm, some people prefer to drink water or tea. Uh, some people just uh, quit everything. No, no food, no drink. Yes, I understand. Yeah. Okay. But exercise. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, my third question is, uh, huh. according to Brazilian breatharian Oberam C. Silva, he regards himself as a pranarian rather than a breatharian. Hmm. Is there some difference between a breatharian and a pranarian? I don't think it's uh, much different, but uh, it's uh, probably different in concept, you know? Yes. Hmm. Like when people mention prana, then they uh, think of the the life force that sustains the body and the, and the creation, yeah? Yes. Hmm. And when people say breatharian, then they probably think uh, immediately of air, just relying on air. You see what I mean? Yes. Mm. But uh, otherwise, I, I don't know much the difference between the two. Okay? Thank you very much, Master. Welcome. Hello, Master. Hello, Choco. Another Choco. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Master. How are you? I'm hmm. good, Master. Thank you. Yeah. So good to hear you. You look prettier every day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Master. Thanks to you. Master, my question is, we heard of some people who try to be Breatharian and who fail, sometimes even in dramatic conditions. Would you say that it's their mind that prevents them from being Breatharian and their mind is obstructing the whole process? Or is it because Breatharianism is not for everyone? Yeah, I guess the mind also, and the, the difficulty of quitting the habit which has been with them for life long. But otherwise, it's for everyone. Everyone can be breatharian, I believe. Wow. It's, it's not that difficult, and I just have to change the concept and know that without food you could live. Uh, well, you won't die. And, and even if you die, it's your time to die. It's not the breatharian process that makes you die. Oh, and the thing is, of course, uh, a breatharian aspirant, the student of breatharianism, beginning uh, when he begin the process or want to begin, have to adhere to all the rules, huh? Yes, Master. Just like everything else, there are rules for, for success, you know, and for sustaining this uh, state of success. It's not like just... Uh, uh, you do it once and then it's finished. It's not like that. It's a lifelong process. Yes, oh, okay, Master. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> work. <laughs> yes, Master. Yeah. Go in the field, exercise, walk in the forest, breathe the fresh air, bear food, uh, Tai Chi Chuan and Qi Kong, what not, okay? Yes, Master. Yeah. Right. Not like you lucky guy, just sit there and, and, and <laughs> sunbathing and close your eyes and sleep, relax. Yeah. It's, it's so easy like that, Master. We love it, Master. Thank you. Uh, I know, you're welcome. And you can even eat and drink. <laughs> Vegan. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Master. Master, yeah. how does karma work for the food-free process? When someone is ready for breatharianism, however his karma doesn't allow him to go through it, then the person would have to stay with his normal diet? Is there a way to pay for the eating karma in another form so that we can achieve the food-free state? No, no, no. You just try again. Hmm? And once you overcome it, then your karma is free anyway. Oh, okay, Master. Yeah, because you get out of the system, of the karmic system, of the give and take system. Hmm? Try again, or do it gradually. You know, like, some people go through the 21-day process, or just seven-day process, whatever way they choose to do, or quit cold turkey, <laughs> like I did. Uh, but the sustaining process, you know, is a longer, is a lifelong so maybe you can quit cold turkey like that, or you do it uh, um, 21 day, or you do gradually after 21 day. 
all you do it gradually until you quit. You know, like first you go raw and then eat less and less all the time and then eat fruits and then less and less and then drink fruit juice and then drink less and less and then drink water and then less and less and then quit. Okay? Yes, Master. Yeah, but that's... I'm just saying that, but I'm not guiding you, okay? I'm not a breatharian teacher. I don't intend to be. I'm here to save the world. <laughs> yes, Master. Okay? All right. So whatever little food you eat is fine or not. Up to you, okay? There are plenty of teachers who teach you, okay? Yes, Master. Do it properly with guidance, all right? Yes, Master. Okay. Master, among billions of human beings, only few of them become breatharian. Does a breatharian person have any extra special system in their body, such as extra chakras, extra DNA strings in their body, in order to have the ability to receive energy from the universe, or they just have strong will to change their eating habits? Ah, the strong will also needed, huh? Mm. And after a while, after a while, uh, the, the angels and the divinity on the third level will help you, uh, maybe give you a trip, inserting a trip, invisible trip into your body, something like that, first to clean you and then to fit you with that. <laughs> wow. Okay? Mm. After three, four days, it happened. But then, does the DNA change also? Yeah, it does change somehow. The system changes a little bit to adapt to the new, uh, new way of life. Wow. Mm. You will feel very light. You will feel very light, very happy and light. Yes, Master. Yeah, light-footed. Eh? Mm. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Hi, Master. Hi. Uh, Master, is it wrong to eat when you are not hungry and just eat out of habit or stress release? No, it's not wrong, but it's just not good for your body when you eat together with the stress instead of just food. Yeah, when you eat, you should be concentrating on uh, the divine force through the food that nourishing you. It's not the food that nourishing you, it's the divine force that goes through the food because we're used to it. So you have to eat in that kind of state of mind, you know, with gratefulness and enjoyment, not when you are stressful or upset because you will carry that with your food with you and then it's not good for the body. You might get sick or get fat for nothing. Hmm? Uh, Master, is eating habit related with ego? Does being a breatharian help cut our ego? No. <laughs> it might increase your ego. <laughs> because you think you're doing something great and uh, that not many people can do. Uh, it's possible to inflate your ego with that. Wow. wow. Master, if we still like to eat food, does it mean breatharianism is not suitable for us? <laughs> No, if you like to eat, you eat, but you still can be breatharian if you want to be. Of course, everybody likes to eat food because it's a habit to eat it, you know? And also like a social uh, kind of joy to be together with friends and it is a good memory. That's why people like to eat food and then it tastes good and then you become used to it, some kind of food. But uh, if you want to quit, you can do it, you know, gradually. Thank you, Master. The people who became breatharian doesn't mean that they did not like food or they have aversion to food, therefore they, <laughs> they quit. No, no, they also like you. They love food, but they just want to quit because they want to nourish themselves with the uh, prana, you know, with the life force instead of with the material food, okay? Yes, Master. Right. Thank you, Master. Welcome. <laughs> 